In this Fusion 360 video, I'm going to show you how to drill and tap lined holes. So holes that don't go through, like you can see down here on this view, we got these four smaller holes that we're drilling and we're tapping. So what do we go? We got four holes, we're drilling first to a diameter of 0.1345 to a depth of 450 thousandths. That makes room for the tap, so we can go and tap the holes afterwards to 832. 832 tap to a depth of 320 thousandths. So you notice the there's quite a bit difference in the depth of the drill versus the tap. That's because we need room down here at the bottom of the hole so the tap doesn't break if chips fill up in there. All right. So we're gonna make sure we have extra room for that. Very important going forward. So okay, that's what we have to do. Um, one thing to let you know is uh, this drill diameter of 0.1345. That's called it on the drawing. Uh, there isn't an actual drill size. That's you know a standard drill size. Uh, so we're going to use 0.136. That's what we'd normally use for 832 anyways. So over to Fusion 360. Uh, I've already got my model done. I've got my setup ready to go. Uh, no extra stock. Just the stock is just uh, relative size with no extra stock. I've also got my X, Y, and Z set up properly. So Z is coming up away from the hole. All right. X is to the right. Y is up. Okay. So. These are the four holes we're going to drill tap blind. Start out by clicking on drill, and I'm going to select my first tool, which is, you know, of course, my spot drill, I'm using a quarter inch spot drill. And I'm going to select all these hole faces. Uh, if you notice, this is going real deep. Uh, it's going to make a huge countersink. We're going to change our, our height for our bottom height. So, Top height should be from the model top or hole top, either one. Bottom height of the of the drill point is also in reference to the model top or the hole top. Um, so our bottom height is set at negative 1.120. That's just a, a default that I have. But since an 832 is a fairly small hole, I'm going to make this, uh, I'm going to go 60 thousandths, right? So you can see it just puts a little bit of spot in there. Now it's not going too deep. All right, that's good. I'm going to do another drilling operation. Click on drill up here. This time I want to select my tool two, which is the 136 drill. I'm going to go select those holes again. This time, my bottom height, I want to go by, if I switch back to the drawing, I want this to go all the way down here to the bottom of this hole, all right, for each one of these holes. So that's what I want to do as far as my heights tab. I want to change bottom height to hole bottom. And I don't want any offset in there. So let's put zero, zero for an offset, okay? So that's just automatically going to go down to the bottom of the hole that was modeled for us. The other thing I need to change is the last tab from drilling rapid out to deep drilling full retract. That needs to be a peck drilling operation and that sets our pecking depth automatically. And I'll just say, okay, for that. And the last thing we've got to do is our tapping cycle. So that's also under drilling. I'm going to select my tap. I already had these tools made up ahead of time, obviously. Uh, I'm going to go back again and select all those holes. All right. And we can sort of see right now this the taps going a certain depth. Now let's go check that depth. Again, we're defaulted at minus 120 thousandths. Okay, let's go back to the drawing. How deep do we go? Well, right here, it says 832 to 0.032. 320 deep, so 320 thousandths. However, uh, at the end of it, the tap itself, the tapping tool, there's a chamfer on there, a very slight chamfer. So we've got to add a little bit extra depth because we're not going to get the full tap diameter all the way to the tip of the tool. So how do we decide how much that is? Well, 
we go by the pitch. So the pitch of this is one over threads per inch, one over 32, one divided by 32. So the pitch is 0 0.03125. We want to add two times the pitch to our tap depth. So 0 0.03125 times two, we want to add 0 0.062. 62 is 63 thousandths. We need to add to 320 thousandths. So add 0.32. So our tap depth needs to be 0.3825. We're not going to get that tight tolerance on a tap depth. So I'll just put, say 0.383. Okay. So to get my full 320, I actually got to bring the tap a little bit lower to 383. All right, 383 thousandths. That's going to be my bottom height from the model top is minus 383. And you can just see how that went down further, right? So now we're down to our proper depth. That's okay. Click on setup, simulate it. That all looks good. And even if I look down inside of this part, I can see that there's a little bit of extra hole depth in there, all right, uh, that we didn't tap. That's good. That's how it should look. That looks like a good, safe program. Uh, I feel very comfortable with post-processing this. Uh, again, on your post-processor, make sure that preload tool is not checked off, but make sure that G, use G0 is checked off. That way it will post out properly.